we have to distinguish ourselves because there's a big difference between $51 billion. Now I want to go over real quick what I call the, the secret formula when it comes to building your business. And I'm going to turn this over to Manny. I spent a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of effort to figure out the secret, secret formula. And I've learned it through several conferences. But the way you build your customer base is four steps. I'm going to write these down. Step number one, identify exactly who your customer is. So if you could have a dream client and Google them, <laughs> say, and maybe a, an image will come up on Google, but figure out who your dream customer is. That's the very first step. And get crystal clear about their age, about their hobbies, about the things that they're doing. Step one, crystal clear about who your dream customer is. Step two, figure out where your dream customers are what Facebook groups they're in, what mixers they're attending, what organizations they're a part of. We want to know where these people are. Step three, we need some bait. What can we dangle in front of our dream customers that's going to entice them to do business with us? What's the bait? Online lately has been a good ebook or a free giveaway or something. Step number four, where do you want to take these people? Where do you want to take your dream customers? How much weight do you want them to lose if you're in fitness? What type, of, what type of home do you want to put them in if you're in real estate? And when you go through those four steps, I think that that will separate you from your competition from selling the exact same product because it's almost like going fishing. You want to have a little radar detector to figure out where are the fish? What type of, what type of fish are we catching? And I'm not that big of a fisherman, so. But once we figure out where the fish are, then we want to put our bait in in front of the fish. You've got too many people, I call them wonder, or, or general, wondering generalists. They just kind of wander around and say, well, I can work with this person, I can work with this person. If everyone's your customer, no one's your customer because you can't afford to advertise to everybody. Mm -hmm. And here's what I'll finish with. Unless you make dog food, unless you own a funeral home, you should be your own best customer. Always be your own best customer. Please don't tell someone that you can do something for them that you can't do for yourself.